So it is box two of the night. It's a little one. So, oh, pardon me. This one is, if I can open it, it's a bit stiff. This is makeup edition two. So, let's have a look. So we have three, six, seven, seven items. Let's a quick look at the card. And like I said, this is Makeup Edition 2. Now, I never got Makeup Edition 1 because I was a newbie. So, um, what does the card uh, say about the stuff? Um, just says, another round for all your makeup. Um, you find nothing but makeup and more makeup. Um, here you'll find exceptional makeup must-haves, trusted classics and buzzy beauty favourites and more, all tried and tested. Um, quench your never-ending thirst for makeup and unusual flattering shades and pigments and take your makeup collection to a whole new level. So we'll start off with the first product, and I think you pronounce this re Revencent. I don't know how you pronounce some of this stuff. And it's the Perfect Star Powder Shadow. Now, in the Halloween box that we got that you saw me unbox, a lot of the products was by this company. And I actually, I'm not going to reveal it yet, but anyone who follows me on Instagram, and I'll probably upload it to um, the Facebook group as well. I've already trialled my makeup out for Halloween, using nearly every single product out there, plus a couple of others like liquid latex and stuff like that. And actually the makeup looked really, really good. And this, what I noticed when I was working with the products is it said that they were professional makeup. And it says it there that it's a professional makeup brand. And it basically said good quality and fantastic colour for professional makeup artists. So it's it's good stuff that they're giving you. Um, this is worth $11 and it's their Perfect Star Powder. And you could have either got gold, pink, bronzy, or grey. Now, bronzy looked like a terrible colour to me. It was like a, a burnt, reddy, orange colour. And I just thought that would be terrible for me. And I don't actually know who that would suit. Um, and I was happy with any of the other three. And I got a really nice colour that I like. So it says it's designed with the perfect mix of colour and shine. It creates dramatic light-catching effects. Brings instant sophistication to any makeup look. Um, layer it on top of a contrasting eyeshadow. Um, it has multi-dimension effects, or use it alone for an instant elegance. Um, and I got that colour, which is perfect for me. And it was number one in gold. Now I have blue eyes, so golds and coppers really do suit my eye colour. Um, just says carefully open the lid. Set the lid on the surf on a steady surface and tap out the powder into an open lid. You can use your fingers or um, a shadow brush. Now I would suggest because it's a loose pigment. Oh, mine's actually opened on itself, um, so we'll swatch a bit out. If you can see, it's it's opened. Now, what was going to say? I would recommend you use a primer with these because pigments generally go everywhere and you could probably wet this and use it wet and you could probably build it to as much as you want and actually it's a lovely shade so that's it on my finger and that's it on my hand there and you could probably foil this and foiling if you don't know what foiling is is something that I learnt when I started wearing Bare Minerals and it's basically when you wet the eyeshadow brush in a bit of water, dip it into your powder and then put it on and it basically creates a more metallic -y, intense look. Um, but yeah, I really like that. So that's the uh, Perfect Star Powder worth $11. Okay, so the next item is... Shara Shara, I want a cat's gel liner. And I haven't opened this yet. Um, it's worth $10 and you could have had Havana Pearl Brown or Persian Pearl Navy. Now, I got the Havana Pearl Brown and you can't see it just yet, but I'm going to open it so you can see. It doesn't look like a typical brown because I've got a brown gel liner that I had in another one of their boxes and I remember saying like oh it's good to have a brown because I always have blacks and um, you know you always get black um, so it's nice to 
have a brown but this brown is different and I really like it I can't wait to to get it on and try it um it's worth ten dollars what I like is it comes like that very elegant and when you pull the top it has a built-in brush and the brush is quite thin so that's quite good and it says it's a precise liquid liner with the ease of a gel based formula so I like gel bases um, it glides onto your skin smoothly and precisely, dries quickly, it's long lasting and water resistant. I'm not going to tell you how to use it because, you know, you all know, but, oh yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. It's quite a big tub. Now I hope you can see, if we look, oh it's not going to do it just this. It's like glittery. You know what, let's try and swatch some, I wasn't going to, but. I really want to try and show you this to give it justice and actually it's going to go well with um, with the powder it's very gel like I actually put too much on I don't think the light's going to do it justice um, it's got like gold flecks in but that's it on and I don't know it's just not going to show up on camera but if I lean back can you see that I don't I don't know if you can it's got like gold little gold flecks in it's ever so beautiful it looks really really beautiful um, you just gonna have to trust me it looks beautiful so that's that so that's quite nice. Um, we'll see how quick drying it is by the end of the video. Um, okay, then the next item is an Etude, I don't know if I pronounced it right, Etude House, Etude House, Woo Baby Lip Plumper. And this is worth $7 and you get it, you either get clear gloss volume or the glittery pink volume. I don't like the glittery pink, but it doesn't matter. I got the clear gloss volume one and it says plump up your extra small lips with the Etude House lip plumper for extra volume and gloss that coats over your lips to prevent dehydration as well. It says with the silicone tip apply the formula to the centre of your lips and spread it towards the outer contours. Reapply to the inner contours for extra volume and it's recommended to be applied alone or after lipstick or lip tint application. So that's what it's like, it's just clear just clear blue. Uh, we'll have a quick look if there's a smell. Very minty. Put it on. It feels like it smells like toothpaste. Okay, so you can see it's like a gloss. It's starting to get a bit tingly, so it's got that plumping effect in. Um, yeah. In a minute, I'm going to end up with light lips like that. <laughs> but we'll see. Yeah, it's quite nice. It's quite refreshing. It is like toothpaste, though. But refreshing. Um, okay, so the next item is... A Secret Kiss Sweet Glam Stick Glow. Now I have had some Secret Kiss stuff in the past and liked it. Um, and it's worth $22. I haven't had their... Or, oh no, it's Secret Key. Ignore me. Whether Secret Kiss is a sister to Secret Kiss, I don't know. We'll have to have a look. Um, it's basically a lip gloss and you could have got Wonder Pink or Urban Coral. And it says, new from Secret Kiss, the revolutionary new lip product that combines long-lasting wear of a lip tint, high pigmentation of a lipstick and a high gloss shine of a lip gloss. Coat your lips with this fall's trendiest lip colours that offer lightweight texture which immediately melts onto your lips. Apply one coat to the centre of your lips and brush towards the outer corners. For more coverage and sophistication apply two coats. Um, then dab on the formula. Um, so, look. so it looks a bit weird when you first open it. So it looks like it's got two openings but then 
Oh, and what colour did I get? I hate to be really rude. Oh, I think I got Wonder Pink. It doesn't actually. I think I have Wonder Pink. Because when I look, put it next to the picture, it looks like Wonder Pink. I would say it's Wonder Pink. So it's what it comes out like. So it has a Dauphinois applicator, but even the applicator's strange compared to like UK. Oh wow. Beautiful. I'll show it you in a sec. And that's that colour. It comes out, it's coming out more red on camera. Um which it does it does look like a ready pingy coral, but it looks nice. You can probably shear that out though. But yeah, that's really, really nice. And that's worth $22. Okay, and then we've got the fifth item is the Skin Food Mineral Colour Fix Brow Mascara worth worth seven dollars. Now some people were moaning about the colour choices. The colour choices were medium light brown, medium brown, medium deep. Oh, mineral, sorry. Mineral light brown, mineral brown, mineral deep brown, and mineral red. And it just says it's a brow volumizing mascara which builds and blends in easily for creating either natural or thick lash arches. Now, I do use a brow gel. Um, just says brush in the opposite direction to your brow growth. Filling in between the empty spaces and then for a more natural look, simply run it through the arches of your brows. So I'll just use it as a as I do. Now I actually got number three, which was mineral deep brown. And if you look, I I actually think it will be okay for my brows. Um but a lot of people were complaining of like, well you've given me this colour and it doesn't suit, but because I have my brows darker than nat they are naturally I think I can get away with that colour so we'll try it I'm currently using a model co one at the minute which is really good so that's coming really really useful at the right time now the next item that's a bit like oh my gosh that I mentioned in the other box was this okay this is a Imus Beauty Talk Gold Egg Vibrating Poof um, so worth $30 and it says it's compact and light which it is this egg shaped vibrating poof um, basically ensures high adhesive performance of foundational BB creams for a, de a delicate and smooth silky skin texture it says you squeeze an adequate amount of BB cream onto the poof and gently pat it all over the face until the BB cream is perfectly adhered so let me show it you it is lightweight very very lightweight has a little button when you pull the top off that was the bottom I pulled off when you pull the top off so underneath as you can see is the batteries okay that's on properly now um, and then so that was the top and it's got this little sponge and then what you'll do it's going to sound like a vibrator now. Press it and I don't know if you can see it vibrates and then you literally put your, well you'd obviously put cream on first and I would probably be inclined to dab it and then and it acts so that you've got to do this all over your face um, until it blends in. The only thing um, that concerns me and I don't know if other ladies have thought about it is obviously sponges all need cleaning at some point I've took the back off and can't get it back on there we go all sponges need cleaning at some point how do we clean this that's just something that's made me wonder how do we clean this because it's battered underneath and there's electrics um, my only thought at the minute would be a wet wipe after every use just quickly wipe it with a wet wipe but 
I don't know. I don't know. Do we have to clean it? I don't know. If any of you guys know, and it's crossed your mind, let me know. Um, because it, sh it seems a shame for $30 to then have to bin it. Because you can't clean the sponge. And obviously, sponges, when they get dirty and you carry on using them, they, they grow bacteria. So, be interesting to know. Um, but it is quite an interesting thing, and it, it's, it's like that. So, yeah. Interesting to try. Interesting to try. The only other thing that I thought was a bit strange... And I don't know, again, if any of you guys would have noticed if you'd had the box... Was the packaging? Why are the four men on the packaging? And it also says it's a gold egg vibrating poof with four men on the front. Just a bit disturbing on the packaging, um, but I just perhaps the Koreans haven't clocked that. Maybe they're not as dirty minded as us British people are. Well, me. Um, so, last product. They're obviously fit with the vibrating poof. Is the Cover Queen Whitening BB Cream. SPF 30 and this is worth $16 and it just says it provides the benefits of skincare and makeup in a fresh and airy formula enriched with ooh, galactomyces ferments and a blend of different berry extracts it works to moisturize brighten smooth protect and correct skin with sheer coverage for illuminating the skin with a new a unique fresh glow and dewy finish basically just apply And that's it. Um, I open it up. Now I have got some BB creams to get through and some CC creams. So it will get used at some point. And that's what that looks like. And if I was to show you. Again, it's been sealed. So, quite a good box. Bit of everything. Something for eyes. Something for face, lips, brows. Yeah, good box. Um like the colours as well so yeah um i will let you know about that vibrating poof tomorrow so bye